In our next generation design tools section, we'll firstly look at touch mode and touch sketching. We've got our hands on a Microsoft Surface Studio to show this to you, so we'll get a model open and pivot the screen down to make it a bit easier to use in touch mode. Within 2018 there is now dedicated touch mode. To turn this on, just access it from the view menu toolbar. Once enabled, an extra toolbar appears on the right with specific touch tools. Even without using these tools we can rotate around the model or pinch to zoom in and out. The touch toolbar includes a lock rotation button to make it easier to work with along with a tool to start the S key. From here we'll start the move component dialog and using touch I can select the two components I want to move. Enabling dynamic clearance I can see the gap between the parts whilst dragging. Because lock rotation is on the model doesn't rotate when I drag the part. If we zoom in a little bit and select a component, you'll notice that the menu that appears is larger than normal. Any right click options for what we have selected are available on the down arrow. We'll use the drop down at the top to change the configuration. Holding your finger on screen starts a circle. If you let go before the circle is complete, then mouse gestures start. The gesture wheel is larger than normal too. Swiping right gives me zoom to area and I'll use this to focus in on the upright for the shelf. If I hold my finger on screen and allow the circle to complete, the magnifying glass appears. I can then move this over an area of interest and use the zoom tools on the touch toolbar to zoom in. When we edit a feature like this extrude and fill in a dimension, SolidWorks gives us an on-screen numeric input to make it easier for touch users without a keyboard. We'll update the model to reflect the changes by using Rebuild from the main toolbar. To look at the sketch updates, we'll open this sync. Using my finger, we'll go normal to and edit the sketch. When touch mode is enabled, a new tab called Sketch Ink is available in sketch mode. We can select a particular color and size when sketching. There are two modes, Auto Shape, which converts pen stroke to shapes, and Auto Sketch Entities, which converts the pen strokes directly into sketch entities. Sketch shapes can be converted at any time by clicking on them. Any edits we need to make to the sketch can be done in the normal way. Here we'll add some fillets and straighten the lines up a bit. We'll then mirror everything over to the other side. When sketching, relations are added automatically, like the concentric circles, making sketching very fast and intuitive. Finally, we'll extrude our new drain design to finish the sink. So, we've seen the introduction of a dedicated interaction mode for touch devices, a specific touch mode toolbar, the zoom magnifier, larger context and gesture menus, and it's configurable for left and right handed users. Over in sketching, we've seen the ability to perform freehand sketching, it automatically converts pen strokes to shapes, and converts pen stroke to sketch entities at any time. Both of these require uh, a touch device and the use of Windows 10, the creator update. Our next video is administration.